a grand afternoon to all of my pedal patrons. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, it is Tuesday. It is the 13th of what freaking month are we in? August, sorry. <laughs> 2024. That makes today a two universal numerological energy value and frequency day. Um, we finished all of the transits that we had as of five o'clock this morning. And so I will talk to you a little bit about what that looks like. The highlight energy for me, especially with the phone calls I've had this morning, is the fact that while the moon was still in Scorpio, um, it had this trine that showed up with the Neptune and Pisces. I have had so many conversations with people that are trying to get a little bit better uh, reflective information about what's going on in their dreams. Holy buckets. Even though it was void, it's still big. But what happened at three o'clock in the morning is the moon moved out of Scorpio and it moved down to peppy, optimistic Sagittarius, which opened up a lot of opportunities for us today on this two universal day, Tuesday, to start to create these partnership alignments that maybe we didn't have the opportunity to focus on before. Business, personal relationships, um, and obviously that's going to be a lot of our relationships, but even some friendships and some, some other things that were going on. Today is asking you to start to harmonize. And if it doesn't have anything to do with those, and it will, uh, you and your star player, okay, coming into alignment. The best thing that showed up today, um, about four o'clock, I think it was, mm, was the fact that the moon in Sagittarius had this perfect harmony, the sextile that came in with the Pluto and Aquarius giving us all permission to use the information that we want to be able to pull forward in those changes and put our best foot forward. And then the last energy piece that comes in is going to be a little bit challenging. And that was the square that developed between the Mercury in Virgo and that moon in Sagittarius. Not negative, but what it means is that there's going to be some potential angst in conversations as you're starting to develop that. Um, either from trying to get it out of your mouth or trying to be receptive in hearing the information. Those are all the transits that we have today. The highlight and the bringing up of all of this stuff is because tomorrow, Wednesday, okay, <laughs> Mercury Day, Wednesday, is going to be off the chain. Not only do we have a grand trine with all of our fire signs, right, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius because of the moon in Sagittarius, but we also have, dun, 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 a grand cross energy, and that involves Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and that moon that's in Sagittarius, and they all have oppositions that are taking place, and so I want to talk to you about that grand cross, because today's energy is a two-frequency day coming together in harmony. Tomorrow's the day where you have to try to work some things out, and it could be challenging. I will pull up a different map in just a second, but this is the grand cross energy that you'll see developing in today's map and then show up in tomorrow's map. You cannot have a conversation or an argumentation between Mama Venus and Papa Saturn. It rules everything that goes on with relationships and resources. We also have the moon in Sagittarius in the second house, optimistic about what? Resources. And those two are going to have a conversation. Mama uh, and Papa Saturn are having that conversation in what? Relationships, fifth house. And then <laughs> having its own opposition, there's two. We have two, one with Mars and one with Jupiter showing up tomorrow. So the Mars energy, and it has this very bluffy energy that can sometimes take place. Well, the energy of what Jupiter's got going on is wanting you to make a firm decision about what, what are we doing here in the second house of resources and the bluff of second house and resources. Then when you add in the grand trine energy of all those fire signs and Mercury moves out of Virgo and goes back up into Leo, we add the drama factor of all those things that are going to take place. It's going to just be ginormously big energy. There's nine total transits that are taking place tomorrow. Um, today is the best day to really sort of lay out that foundation. And then we have the conjunction again between Mars and Jupiter. This particular alignment is not unusual, but it doesn't happen all the time. This is very, very unique. Therefore, every sign is going to be affected by this. But I'm going to bring up the other chart real quick and we're going to run through some opportunities for you to harmonize the best way that you can between the energy of two today, developing and coming back in harmony with those relationships and then building on those relationships for tomorrow. So let me bring up the other map. 
Okay, so here's a big map in all of its glory. Again, that grand cross energy between Venus, Moon, and Sagittarius. We've got Saturn coming in, going back up to Jupiter uh, and back over to this. Um, you have the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Venus ruling both Taurus and Libra. Then you have the energy of Gemini again, Pisces coming into that. Um, in the Saturnian positions, then you include both Capricorns and Aquarius. Literally no one is left out of this. And because of the Mars energy, you also have to include the Scorpio in with the Aries for that um, ancient ruler. Literally every sign is involved. Look towards your second house. I would look to find out very specifically where some of these other big planets are in your own personal birth chart. And if you need assistance with that, hello, it's one of the services that I offer. There's lots of ways that you can find those different things out. A really good way is to just book a personal reading and understand what's going on with you currently to the highest aspect. If you know the biggest priorities that you have in relationships in regards to money, in regards to where it is that you would like to go, in regards to your personal relationships, whether you're married or not, okay, your friendships and work partners are going to get involved in this as well. Having the strategy for what it is you would like to be able to experience and being flexible with the articulation of what you want versus what someone else is going to be able to, you know, add to the conversation. This is why the, this week is going to be extremely dramatic for a lot of people. The nature of relationships must change so that you can be in better alignment with your own assignment if you want to break it down that way. At the end of the day, what it boils down to is there is going to be a lot of energy. Um, and we're still on the uh, in the energy of the 8-8 gateway, <laughs> getting ready for the full moon energy on Monday the 19th. It's just going to be extremely dynamic. So these next several days, give yourself as much patience as you possibly can in communicating with other people. Whatever your Zen Zone activity happens to be for you to just sort of, you know, bring it down a level. It is about slowing down literally these next couple of days in order to speed up, recalibrate, get it back into partnership. Again, you and your star player and trying to harmonize as best you possibly can. It can be very stressful for a lot of people, but in order for you to move forward, you have to clean some things up and you have to bring some old things back up, polish them off, and then start working through them. Strategery. As always, may you receive everything it is that you need, everything that you want and desire, and may you continue to find the beauty in all things.